update. Hey guys, welcome to the show. In today's episode of Why Even Bother, we are bothering to install the latest dev channel release of Windows 10, Windows 10 ARM edition, because we are gonna be emulating X64 bit applications right now. What is this dead or alive? Is running pretty much deadly on this M1 Mac Mini because we're running Windows 10 ARM edition, emulating X64 inside Parallels emulator on Mac OS inside an M1 Mac Mini. Why even bother? Subscribe, like, share, that's why we're doing it. Someone asked, so this is delivering. So this is dead or alive, running very uh, slowly on the screen. I also tried Resident Evil earlier today. This is Resident Evil 2. This is 720p resolution. Runs abysmally slow, and that ran very slowly. All right, we're now in probably the best game of 2018. One of the best games, at least, A Plague's Tale Innocence. As you can see, it's running. It did give me a warning saying, hey, your hardware requirements are not being met, but it's uh, very slow. This game is famous for the custom rendering engine they made. They had to write an engine that supports pretty much a thousand rats on the screen. So if you're scared of rats, play this game because you fear no longer maybe. Get a problem, we'll press it. Oh, something appeared on the screen. We are having more than one frames a second. Progress. Word of advice for developers, if you have a warning before loading the game saying that your hardware doesn't support the game, don't set the resolution to 5K. Set it on 800 by 600, the lowest one, unsupported hardware. Yeah, seems a lot faster now. Just check out, the rats are rendering fast. We have 720p running x64 emulation. I'm actually pretty much, pretty much impressed with the performance of this. I'm gonna do new game, hopefully, the game will actually run. I know we got the menu running well, but uh, I want to see if the, the actual game runs. All right, feels like around 15 frames a second. It's definitely renderable. I wouldn't say playable. Of course, uh, I don't actually hear any audio, so I think the audio drivers are a bit not 100% there in parallels yet. And it's uh, a bit slow, but you can always lower the resolution and imagine what they're saying as you play it. I think, I think things will definitely improve as they figure out the graphics drivers, or maybe we just need to wait until Bootcamp allows the installation of ARM64 Windows operating system. I did try getting Bootcamp to forcibly install it, but there's no drivers available at the moment from Apple. So we'll see how that situation plays out maybe in the next few months. But what we wanna see is can it run applications well? So I've got 64-bit version of AutoCAD, because someone asked me about Revit, so I figured, you know what, AutoCAD, be a pro, don't Revit, AutoCAD it. I double-clicked it, it is running. You just need to wait a little bit, and hopefully, oh, right on the screen. I'm gonna launch the floor plan sample, because that way you guys know how it runs on your computers, and you'll be able to see how it runs on this computer. It's read only, yes, open it. Boom, it's loading. What's happening? We got something on the screen. X64 AutoCAD. Amazing. So I'm able to move the mouse and zooming out, zooming in. Selecting objects. Update, click. Yep, move the object. It is usable, but it's a bit chuggy for my liking, but it is usable definitely. Clicking on buttons. There is a noticeable delay whenever you click on something, but that's just, I guess, AutoCAD for you. Poorly programmed. Why aren't you supporting the M1 natively? Adobe. Autodesk. I'm gonna get out of this application. I clearly don't know what I'm doing. Close. Something is on the screen. So just thank whoever you wanna thank for that. Something's on the screen. Look at this right there, Revit. We're about to install Revit. We showed you how awful I was at driving AutoCAD, and now I'm gonna show you how awful, or amazing I am at driving Revit. No! Yep, still installing. Okay, while it's still installing, let me just show you Epic Games Launcher. Something interesting on this screen. I've got Unreal Engine, I've got Library. No longer am I having that big error message on the screen saying, you need the x64 version of Windows to install it. You can actually install Unreal Engine on it if you want. If that's your, don't do it, but you can do it. Showing the x86 is looking like it's working. So I'm confident that most applications will work. How well they'll work is YMMV. 
back to Revit. No! No! All right, so unfortunately, yeah, Revit, I couldn't get it working. Maybe it's because I was trying to install a 2021 edition, which has too much spyware, analytics, signing in to online servers, all that kind of nonsense. Maybe go back to the good years, 2019 and below, where we knew we could download software and run it offline. Maybe get one of the older versions and that might work because we got pretty close 64-bit applications. So if you guys want to go home and do this yourself, in the previous video, we showed you how to install Parallel 16 on the M1 Mac Mini and download the ARM version of Windows. Now we're gonna take it to the next level and show you how at your own risk to go to the developer channel and get the x64 version of Windows up and running. So to do that, you press the Windows key, Windows key like that, <laughs> amazing. You click on settings and then inside update and security, you wanna go into Windows inside a program, sign in to your account so Microsoft knows exactly what you're doing so they can track you. You can disable it later, but you need to sign in. And then you wanna switch the channel from beta, which is by default, to the dev channel. Once you've switched it over to the dev channel, boom, shakalaka, you go into Windows update and you'll have the option to upgrade to version 21277 or above. When you upgrade to that version, you're now king of x64. You can run all those amazing applications you wanted to on an M1. And if they work, that's on you. But hopefully they should work in the future. I did have some issues with sound and all that kind of stuff. There was sound. I did hear sound coming out of the Mac Mini. But when I was playing games, I didn't hear the sounds. So maybe that will get fixed with drivers. Hopefully Apple will allow us to access the drivers for Windows soon. And Microsoft will allow us to run ARM on Windows on a Mac and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you found this amazing video of running, check this out, x86 Windows applications on being emulated in the ARM version of Windows. Windows being emulated on Parallel 16, running on Mac OS Big Sur, running on an M1 Mac Mini. Hope you found this amazing video amazing and enjoyed this week's episode of Why Bother? Hope you guys enjoyed the show begun the thermal throttling of the 16 inch coincidentally as soon as the Mac M1s have been released. Doo -doo 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 -doo